I'm Mark Vidal with Houston Eye Associates and would like to present this video to show the benefits of the intraoperative OCT on the Lycra microscope and how it shows one, the quality of the interface of the grip and rip technique for ALK and two, the relationships of the donor cap and recipient bed. Here, poor epithelial healing resulted in anterior stromal haze requiring repeat grafting. The layers are clearly visible and removal of the anterior cap does not require sharp dissection. The OCT nicely shows the separation of the layers. This also shows how smooth and clear the recipient stromal bed has remained three months out from the grip and rip technique. The original dissection in this particular case left an approximate 200 micron recipient bed. The new donor was lightly put in place and the OCT clearly shows the anterior and posterior layers along with the interface. Stretching of the tissue with forceps achieves good apposition of the donor and recipient which can be confirmed with the OCT seeing the disappearance of the potential interface space. One of the main benefits of the grip and rip technique is the smooth interface that develops in this natural tearing technique as compared to sharp dissection. Additionally, it avoids the perforation complications often seen with big bubble techniques and leads to excellent intrastromal clarity. Once suturing is completed, the OCT confirms good apposition without wrinkles. As seen in this frozen image at the edge of the wound, the OCT shows the donor cap tucked under the recipient edge. This tuck position is also visible here. In this case, the grip and rip ALK has been completed and the posterior lamellae of approximately 100 microns is visible. The OCT image can be somewhat enhanced when the microscope light is turned off. In this case, the donor cap has been lightly placed over the recipient bed and the OCT shows the area of separation. As the donor cap is pulled tight, adherence is quickly achieved. Intraoperative OCT is helpful in other corneal lamellar surgeries such as DSEC and DMAC. Grip and rip ALK is much easier and safer than other techniques of deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. Although OCT is not necessary for the procedure, OCT elegantly shows the thickness and smoothness of the layers in an intraoperative setting. 